If you still did not subscribe our channel then please click on the red color subscribe button and click on the bell also so that you can get notification of our upcoming videos and updates. Hello friends welcome back to our channel Agri IT Education. So friends I got lot of fear emails and uh, message on my uh, Facebook page Agri IT Education and my email ID Agri IT Education at gmail.com that can you please provide a hardware red red video so so I prepare one video on that so let me start. So what is hardware RAID? RAID is actually a redundant array of independent disk or drive. So what is the meaning of redundancy? Redundancy means if your one disk goes down, you can retrieve your data from other disk. That is called redundancy. So what is the purpose uh, we are using in RAID? What is the purpose we are creating RAID either in server or storage? So uh, the purpose is basically redundancy and better performance. So what are the RAIDs available in, available in market? So initially uh, RAID came with uh, RAID 0. Uh, then uh, red one red five now recently all the storage vendors are using red six and red ten so uh, let me describe briefly what is the difference between these reds type so what is red zero red zero is simply stripping so what is strapping let me show you in uh, let me explain you in paint so we have let me explain you what is red zero Red zero is uh, stripping. Stripping it is required minimum two hard disk, either server or storage. Okay, so data will be written equally uh, in both the hard disk. Suppose your data is AB. So how this AB will return in hard disk? Let me show you. So AB will return equally in both hard disk. How uh, it's like A and B. This is called strapping. This is called stripping. So suppose in case your disk second disk is goes down, then you can't recover your data because uh, data will be stripped in both the hard disk parallelly. So if your one disk goes down, you can't recover your data. Okay, but uh, uh you will get better performance because uh, you're writing not writing in a single disk it will be your data will be split and uh, write in multiple disks so you you will get a uh, better performance but in most of the, of the environment we are not using uh, the red zero because uh, main purpose of red is redundancy and here we will not get any redundancy okay so what is next red one so what is red one red one is mirroring red one red one is mirroring 
so for red one also you required minimum two hard disk either you have a server or a storage you required minimum two hard disk so it's a mirroring what is mirroring mirroring means your data will be written in both the disk it's a kind of mirror suppose your data is a b your data will be written here a b and this will be mirrored to the secondary disk so here also you will get the same data a b okay in this case suppose your disk first disk is goes down then you can recover your data from second disk suppose your second disk is goes down you can recover your data from this one okay so here you have a redundancy your one disk goes down you can recover your data but uh, your performance will be slow because you are writing a, your data is mirroring from one disk to another disk so your performance will be low okay what is the next red next one is red 5 okay so what is red 5 in red 0 uh, you see that uh, it was a uh, strapping in red 5 it's again strapping but with parity so for that it is required minimum 3 hard disk okay so minimum three hard disk one hard disk for parity and two hard disk for data it's called single parity suppose we have a data a b c so how this data will be written this data will be written in all three hard disk It will return like a b b c and c a okay in this case suppose your disk one disk is goes down you can recover your data from remaining two disk your disk one is goes down you can re uh, recover your data from this second and this third so it's a strapping uh, with parity means your data is uh, strapping similar like red zero but you have one hard disk in parity so you will get your data in case your one disk one disk goes down so you will get a good performance here as well as you will get a redundancy okay so this was the red five now the recent one is red six so what is red six uh, so in red 6 uh, basically it is similar like red 5 here what is the difference difference is it's a dual parity means same strapping with dual parity so it is required minimum four hard disk and data will be returned in equal in four hard disk data will be returned and two hard disk in parity so suppose uh, on the same time your two disk goes down then you can recover your data from remaining two disk so this is the advantage of red six
even uh, in case your two disk goes down you can recover recover your data from two disks remaining two disks but the disadvantage is uh, you will get less used capacity because two disks are in parity so suppose in your environment you have a six disk one tb six disk so you will get 4 TB of usable capacity because 2 disk is in parity. Okay, so coming on PPT. So this is the red zero which I explain. It's uh, simply strapping. Your data will be equally divided into disk and if your disk one is goes down, any of the disk goes down, your data can't be recover your data. So what is red one and red five? Red one is a mirroring and red five is strapping with parity. Means uh, in case your one disk goes down, you can recover your data. And in red one uh, is a mirroring. It's a required equal capacity of your mirror disk. Suppose a customer required 500 TB storage and you are configuring one uh, red one then user will get only 250 tb capacity because half of the disk are went for mirroring consume for mirroring okay so next is red one zero or red 10 so what is red 10 red 10 is basically combination of red one and red zero you can see here so how we can configure let me explain here red one zero so it is also required minimum four hard disk Minimum four hard disk. It's a pair of two two disk. So here we create a red Z, uh, sorry red one. It's a metering. red one both so here also red one and on top of that can create a red zero means mirroring plus strapping Here is red zero. So it's a combination of red, red zero and red one. So your data, uh, you have you required minimum four hard disk. Your data will be uh, mirror from one disk to another disk with pair of two disk. And on top of that, uh, it's a created red zero. So uh, red zero means strapping means the data will be written uh, equally in both the disk. So it's a combination of red one and red zero. It's called red one zero, red 10. So you will get a redundancy here. Uh, you have a mirror disk. If you in case your one disk goes down, you can recover your data from secondary disk and is strapping also there because we on top of that we created red zero so data will be returned on multiple disk at a time so you will get performance as well as redundancy 
but what is the disadvantage uh, you will get less capacity here less usable capacity here because half of the disk is used for mirroring so this is the disadvantage of red then okay so came on ppt here you can see red what is red 10 it's a required minimum four disk and uh, in two two disk uh, pair it's a mirroring and on top of that red zero is configured that is strapping so guys these are the different type of reds and uh, as per the customer requirement and as per the user requirement we can configure uh, what is the best suitable for the environment so most of the storage vendor we are using red 6 and red 5 that will give a, a good performance as well as a, a redundancy so that's it for today i hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy then please like and subscribe our channel and from next uh, couple of video we will uh, create on the different technology like uh, ba various backup tools comvault and uh, net backup and unix part like linux hpux aix and some kind of automation so please subscribe our channel if you still did not subscribe and click on bell icon so will so that uh, you will get all the notification whenever i upload a new video thank you thank you so much bye bye